In this code.org lesson, we get to use Minecraft to start exploring functions. Functions allow us to store code in like a block that we can later say the name of to run at any time. It organizes and helps us. Let's dive in. This is code.org and let's get going here. Steve, it is Minecraft. Yep, I got to move forward, it looks like. And then they want me to go ahead and grab this chest. So that's easy enough. Remember, we're controlling this bot thing, right? The uh, agent, apparently. So let me drag out and move forward. And if I hit run, boom. Now, Steve, I need to get the chest, but let's be overachievers. And I'll also show you how to get the diamonds in this. Because come on, diamonds? Got to get that diamond pickaxe. I am nerdy about all things, students. All right, boom. Diamond check. Boom, boom. And chest check. Victory. Awesome. Onward. All right. So now we're go going to need to grab our map. Same deal here, though. Why not go ahead and be an overachiever? So if we were just looking for the map, I would drop two of these blocks here and kwapow. I could move Steve around to get that map. However, notice that this has redstone lines going to this door and that door. So to get that, I would need to, looks like turn left, I think. And then I'm not sure how many steps. It looks like a lot. So if I'm repeating myself in code, I hope you're yelling at me right now, but turn right and then boom. Let's go ahead. And since I'm just saying move forward four times in a row, good, jump and jump and jump. There we are. Now I can get rid of these extra times and then I'm going to turn right. This isn't in the repeat because we only want to turn right once. And then we need to move forward four again. So let me use a repeat. More efficient. What happens is we will turn left to start. It goes through four times. Once we move forward four times, it runs turn right once, move forward four more times. And now Steve is going to be a rich map owning human. But da uh, Onward. A video. Onward. Here we are. All right. So we need the compass. I'm going to continue to be an overachiever, get the diamond. If you just want that compass, though, watch. So here's the agent. Just remember code runs in order. And it's tempting to just throw down four blocks. This would technically give Steve access to that compass. But keep in mind, if you're repeating yourself in code, there's an easier way. And it's the way you want to do it. Let's use a repeat block instead. And instead of saying it four times, I can be lazy, drop it in there, and kwapow, kwapow. That will get Steve access to just that compass. But again, let's be an overachiever because come on, who doesn't want the diamond? Everybody wants the diamond. Looks like this land is raised, so I'll have to go up and around. So it looks like four forward, and then I think I'm going to take left, and then it might be four more. Now, there's already an easier way to do this, and I can tell. Because if I get here, turn left then, and then repeat four more times. Well, if I get there, would it matter if I face left at the end? It wouldn't, right? That doesn't change anything. So instead of doing two repeats, right, like this, I could do one of those nested loops that we've been learning about. So now what will happen is I'm saying, hey, you, computer, two times over. Everything in this pink mouth has to run two times. So it drops down and it does re first repeat this four times. And this is the nested loop. There's a repeat inside a repeat. So four times over goes move one, two, three, four. Once we move forward four times, we're right here. It drops below this and turns left. Once we do that, we hit the bottom of the outer loop and it says, oh yeah, I got to do this one more time. Moves forward four more times and we'll turn left at the end. And Steve is going to be a rich human. Ta-da! onward here we are agent can move across water that's pretty fancy so again if we just need to get this bucket it looks like it's this pad here i would assume and so uh we can do move forward a whole bunch to get to it but obviously i think they're giving us a hint with this repeat seven so let's say it's seven drop and what should happen is i'll move forward seven and this door should open but let's be overachievers and get him that diamond too so i think that will be four steps so I'm just going to change this to four, and then it looks like two forward. Oh, I got to turn left, 
And make sure to run your code often. It is always okay to be wrong. You can just go back and fix it. That's the great thing about code. The world doesn't end if you make a mistake. Okay, and that is looking good. So let's go ahead. And onward. All right, you made it. Now get Steve safely through the maze to collect the axe. Okay, so I see an axe. I see a robot. Uh, if we're just trying to open this door to get to the axe, let's see. It looks like I'll move forward two and then maybe turn right. Boom. And move forward two. Would it matter, for instance, if I were to turn right at the end of this? Nah, it wouldn't matter if he's facing right. So if I do that, though, boom. We can use a repeat. Woohoo! This will also get us to that point. That will get us to the axe, but I want the diamond. So, and what we could do is, since I turned right at the end, I'm now going to turn left, move forward, and move forward. Looks like we're going to go left, move forward, move forward again. So, oh, um, and a repeat. And now I'm not going to put this inside of it because these run after each other. First, I get to this spot. After I run this chunk of code twice, it will drop beneath it and start running this loop, and I'll do this twice. I'm ready. Yeah. Oh, I got to get my diamond. Victory. Onward. All right. Oh, no, the bridge is out. Code the agent to rebuild us a bridge. Steve can get the shovel. Okay, so if we're just trying to get that shovel, let's go ahead and say, well, do we have to move forward to play something? Let's see. You can always be wrong with code. Test stuff out. Okay, wow, I can, okay, so I have to stand over it to play something. So that changes this up, and then I'll move forward, and I'll place, looks like three maybe, move forward, and I place. Now, I hope you're yelling at me, because look, I'm repeating myself, and there's just not a reason to do so. We have a repeat block, so goodbye, goodbye. This is going to do the same thing, and I can just drop these two things I need repeated inside of it. Cool. And if you're only going for that shovel, ta-da, you got yourself a shovel. Now, I want to get fancy and also go for this diamond. So what would I need to do? Hmm. Well, it looks like if I turn right and lay down two more. So what would I do? I'm going to turn right and... Wait a minute. This is repeating myself. Move forward, place oak. So instead of saying that twice, I can do something like this and drop it here. Boom. Victory. Another river, but this one is much wider. Oh, it looks like they started us with code. Let's see what we do. Okay, so move forward three. Now, if I want to just keep going, I think I could set that at a five, it looks like, and just get the diamond pickaxe. However, I want to be fancy, and I definitely want to get this diamond as well. So what I'll do for that is move forward three, and then I guess I'll go ahead and turn to the right and then move forward, place oak, then what? Well, then I'm going to turn to the left. Now, I could turn all the way back around and keep going, but I'll just turn to the left once and finish the bridge here, I think. So this is up to you. You might want your person to turn all the way back, move, and then finish that way. I'm going to have mine go like this. Okay, now let's look for repeat of code. Well, there's one. Move forward, place. So move forward, place, move forward, place. Okay, well, that can be a repeat block. And let's try this. Hello, diamond. Hello, diamond pickaxe. Onward. Functions in Minecraft video. Next. All right, let's see what we... Oh, functions. This is excellent. All right. A function named build bridge is in your workspace. Don't let that scare you. What are functions? They're like blocks of code that we name. So snap the small green build a bridge function block into your workplace twice to fix the path to get Steve to Redstone. Now, you might be thinking, wait a minute, I can just click and it will run all of this code. And it does. Why it does that? Well, let me show you. So if I were to, I guess it won't let me, I was going to grab this code and slap it here. What we've done is we made, you could think of it as a box of code. And in my box of code function, I named it build bridge. And so now that I have this box, whenever I call its name, right, whenever I yell to it, maybe it's your mom yelling at you, 
you get a response. And the response, when I run this and yell, hey, hey, computer, build a bridge, it goes, what? What the heck is that? <laughs> oh, smack. Oh, they must mean this. And it will go ahead and run this code inside of here. Now, when it hits the end of this code, if we had code under this build bridge, under where we asked the computer to run it, that code would run next. But right now, it should just run our function. Now, notice, it, if we want to get this diamond, right, and the torch, we have to do a bit more. We turned right here. So after I run this function once, I'm going to drag this out again. And what will happen, well, we turned right, the computer's going to see this now. First, it sees this first build a bridge, runs all of this code, hits the bottom, goes back here. It's now run it once, so it drops beneath and says, oh, I need to run it again. Joop, runs it again, we'll build a bridge. We turn right. We take a step and then turn right again, and I'm going to ask it one more time. That should get us all the way around. I could have under build the bridge, if I had the option, I could have like move forward. It doesn't matter. Any line that is underneath this is what runs next after it runs all the function. Okay, here we are. Diamond dam. Awesome. Onward. All right, what do we have here? So, there's ice in the way. Oh no, the clear path function can help you destroy blocks. Okay, so here's my function. Here's its name. Where am I at? Right there. Now, I can't go through this ice magically. What I need to do is ask the computer to get rid of it for me. And that's what clear path apparently does. And I can see destroy block, move forward, place gravel. So whenever I say that function's name, the computer says, what in the world are you talking about? And it starts looking. Uh, it's none of this. Uh, oh, they must mean this. Slap. And it goes destroy a block, move forward, place gravel. When it hits the bottom here, it's just going to go back to where it was at. And it said, oh yeah, I ran that, I found it. And what do we want to do then? Okay, well, I'm going to want to move forward once, move forward twice again, right? One, two. And then I'm going to ask it again, hey, hey, go clear path. And it says, what is that? Uh, oh, smack. And it will run the destroy block again. So from what I can tell, we'd want to take another step, right? And clear this path. I'm going to go ahead and then let's see. It looks like a right turn. So now we're clearing this path. And then what? Well, I still need to get over here. So one, two. I'm only going to move two because I know there's a move forward inside clear path. And then what? Clear a path. All right, let's try all that. So this is working. Let's do a repeated code check. And let me remove this for a second. Look at this guy. Move forward, clear path. Move forward, clear path. Boop. I can use this, drop it into repeat, and we're using loops, we're using functions, we're using all sorts of stuff. And then, oh, I'm hurting him. I get me's a diamond. Diamond. Victory. All right. Ooh, we got a couple functions here. Okay. So, can you spot the difference between the two functions? Hmm. Yeah three times so this is going to put three destroy three blocks i'll move forward three times i'll place three rails and two times use the functions with the other tool code in the toolbox okay i want to get the diamond and it looks like we can do that by going this way so we have some rail cart so that's a good sign or rail let me go ahead and then first i think i'm going to turn right and then i'm going to want to move to this block we can leave this part of the cart alone but i need to let me make sure here yeah so i do have that cart so I need to move forward then. It looks like three times, maybe one, two, three, and then what? Well, then I should be standing right here. And how many blocks am I going to need to break? To me, it looks like two. So I'll do fix short path. So the reason I'm saying that is I think these are two blocks. Fix short path. The computer will hit this. We'll turn right, move forward, not backward, yikes. We'll move forward three. And then the computer will say, what in the world is fix short path? <laughs> smack and it will run this code which apparently two times over will destroy a block we move forward we place rail hit the bottom of our pink loop zoop, have to do it one more time so that time we'll destroy this block move forward to that block and place the rail once we're done with that it comes back to where we asked it to run and i think i'll need to turn left maybe let's give that a try to make sure and watch fix short path it just goes right here and runs the code and then it goes back here and i can turn to the left all right this looks like a set of three so now I might want to do fix long path. Same deal there. The computer says, what the heck is that? Just smack. Oh, it's this code. Now, what do I want to do after I fix it? Hmm, I bet I'll want to turn left 
and move forward two, maybe. Oh, move forward two is looking good, though. And then what? Well, it looks like I turn to the right and I need to break two more. So I'll do fix short path one last time. Now, before I do this, let's look for any code that I might have repeated. Well, I see one that really stands out and ooh, they have a repeat two in here. Let's take a look at my move forwards and choop. I can go ahead and do this and say three because I have to move forward three to get to my area. This is looking good to me. Let's see. Go, Steve, go, go, Steve, go. Diamond and flint and steel victory. Onward. All right, let's see. We got two more functions. Look at the functions. Can you use them to avoid? Yep. Okay. So if we just need to go forward here, it looks like a two block and a three block. And they already gave us stuff. What's this do? So when I say build short bridge, what's it going to do? Oh, look, I'll move forward. I place nether rock. Hit the bot, right? Because what happens when I hit run? It says, what is build short bridge? Smack. And it will run this code inside. Okay, I got to do this twice. First, I move forward once, and then I place the rock. Hits the bottom of my repeat. Has to do it one more time, because that's a two. So I move forward one more time and place the nether rock. Here, I am uh, to realize I need to actually turn before doing this. Oh, is that a wall? Oh, they tricked us. Okay, fine. <laughs> so let's turn right. Let's move forward. Let's turn left. I'm not pleased about this. Then let's try this. Ah, and I need to, their trap. I don't need this to move forward because we're not, it's a wall. Oh, I think I'm going to be short too now. Yep. Oh, perfect. So now that I'm here, what can I do? Well, I can turn right move forward and then build short we'll build one too long but it gets the job done i think yeah give me the ball onward video next free play i'm gonna build something awesome i'll speed this up and show you what i do at the end Well, that took me a minute, but I was on a mission. So I outlined right here the path to the bridge. What I did is turn left, move forward twice. I then use a repeat. My put wool, all I'm having the agent do is put down one wool and turn right. And that way they can continue on in a line. Now I run this in a repeat because I also want to move forward and turn left for the first two, but I don't want to hit the wall. So I do it twice. Then I ask it to run put wool one more time down here and I turn right to position myself to move forward three and lay this down in a similar fashion for the logs. Awesome. I hope you did something really, really cool too. Onward. Hope you did something cool too. And it looks like there's no challenges for this lesson, so we're good.